film this. This shit is so crazy. I'm posting this, uh, and I want y'all to repost, save this video, post it on other platforms before it gets taken down. Because I want to clear up some of this misinformation about the Bayside Mall incident that happened. Um, so me and my girl was in town, and we were shopping at the mall, and we noticed a lot of kids there. Um, it wasn't a real big deal at first until they got to arguing and shoving, and then like weapons got brought in, and uh, they started fighting, running all over the mall, chaos just all over the place. So we thought we heard gunshots, but it turns out that that was actually fireworks. But either way, that caused everybody to start rushing for the doors. Uh, people was leaving stuff behind. I mean, just dragging their kids. It was just complete fucking chaos, man. Uh, anyway, so as we running, we look back and we noticed some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark solid shapes not human i promise you these is not human i mean it made the hair stand up on my skin uh and shit we just booked it for the doors after that man i can't explain what that was i can't say that was aliens but i i can't say that sh that was not human it was not human and they online i don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up but they saying that it was uh police officers and and somebody not shadowy figures it's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. It's something going on, and they're trying to cover it up. A lot of people saw what I saw, and like I say, it was so much chaos ensued that it was it was just hard to to to, to let that sink in that we was realizing what what we looking at. I mean, it's some it's some you can never even create in your head in a dream. Um, I'm putting this out there though, man, because I want people to know that this this stuff is real. Get get this out and spread this. And if you were a person that was there and you saw it, what I saw, please put this video out because they're trying to cover this stuff up, man. They don't want us to to tell the truth. And I got a good feeling this video will be taken down. So don't listen to the media. This shit is real, and whatever it is, they do not want people to know about it. I can't even, man. Really what went down in Miami just a few nights ago. Now, I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to make this video because I think I've already been blacklisted online from a couple different places, but I'm very pro free speech, so I'm gonna tell the truth anyway about what I saw. Now, I'm driving down in Miami with a girlfriend pretty late at night, and I suddenly see hundreds, and I mean hundreds of cop cars swarming the entire city, the entire area. You could literally hear the sirens from over a mile away. I've never seen anything like this. Guys, I've been in Miami three years and I've never seen a response like this. I genuinely thought that there was some kind of terrorist attack. It was honestly frightening. So obviously I'm curious. I pull up the car, we get out and we start talking to people. People are pretty calm. Um, I'm talking to them, I'm asking them what's going on. Um, and one person told me that they were at the Bayside Marketplace and and again these are their words I, i'm i kid you not they told me that they saw a creature i know it sounds ridiculous seven feet tall walking around i was like this is insane so i asked so i'm like this person's crazy i go and talk to another woman who's there in a state of actual panic and she tells me that she saw something out of a movie she said it looked like alien from the alien film in the 1980s i think she said it was it's insane. So I get out my phone, right? Because I want to film this and I want to get these interviews for you guys because no one's going to believe what happened. And so I get out my phone and I start recording. The police come running over to me and they take my phone and make me delete the couple seconds that I recorded. And then they ushered me along. Obviously, this is Miami PD, the cops in America. I don't want to mess with them. They're not like the cops in England. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So I delete the footage and I move along. Anyway, I get back into my car and I see choppers in the sky. And it's just insane because the police are saying, the official story is that there were just juvenile kids playing with fireworks. Why was there a chopper in the sky? Why were there hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of police cars? Why did it look like some kind of 9-11 response? I've never seen anything like this. I really couldn't believe it. Anyway, so there's these choppers in the sky and they're shining these lights down as if they're like looking for something. And I see a small glimpse of something. I don't know what it was. 
it didn't look like juvenile kids playing. It looked like something that wasn't human and it actually freaked me out. So we got back into the car, we started driving and then you could see, and this is, and you can, you guys can look this up. The electricity in the surrounding area went out. Explain that to me. Why does the electricity in the surrounding area go out just because some kids are playing with fireworks? It makes no sense. But guys, look, all I know is the Epstein files have just come out. This seems like one massive distraction. This. I look, look at me. <laughs> Y'all. I'm here to set the record straight, man. Like, I literally have been getting interrogated by the Miami Police Department for days by this week. I look, look at me. <laughs> um, it is really aliens. It's really aliens. And I cannot believe that the Miami Police Department is really gonna try to make it seem like they had all those police cars and stuff out there over some kids fighting, y'all. We talking about three and four blocks. We get in it. We, we they asked us first. They asked us what we saw. It was me, two of my cousins, and one of my homegirls. All three of us being basically locked the fuck up. I ain't trying to get in trouble or nothing like that, but I'm just telling y'all, man. This shit is so real, man. Like, everybody saw it. There will be more reports coming out. There will be more reports coming out on this, man. But I just want to go on record and speak my truth. You know, they asked us not to speak about it. Any any blog site, any news site, anybody who wants to talk to me, please get in my DM, man. Because that's the only way I would tell my whole truth. But I just want to let y'all know, man. Y'all aliens are real. It was three of them. And we couldn't believe it. Y'all like this video get this video trending and I post my own cell phone footage. They tried to actually take my cell phone footage. You know what I'm saying? I showed them that thinking that I'm helping the world. They trying to get, they trying to delete it. But once you delete something on your phone, they have recent delete, recently deleting, you have to put your password in. I wasn't able to, I wasn't willing to give them that. So, Man, y'all get this video to where it need to be, and I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to go crazy. Chaos at Bayside Marketplace in downtown Miami. It's after a large-scale fight involving a group of young people. This is CBS News Miami. A heavy police presence tonight at Bayside in downtown Miami. People running from the area after a scare. Let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister live in downtown Miami. Anna, what do we know so far? Well, Naja Elliott, about three minutes ago, I would say about 10 police cars just peeled out of here. We saw police officers running to their vehicles. It's still unclear why they left the scene here to maybe pursue something in relation to what happened here. But earlier this evening, I would say there was about two dozen to three dozen police cars all lined up here on Bayside. And you can just take a look now. We have about one or two police cars right here, and then there's several lined back, uh, a lot more calm than it was just five minutes ago. I mean, it was uh, very active, police lo uh, leaving the scene. We do know that there was a group of juveniles here um, who got into a physical altercation. We're told that some of them had sticks in their hands and they uh, police received a call about a shooting here. We do know that there was not a shooting, but rather a fight with these juveniles and that caused chaos here. Uh, Many of the stores here at Bayside, they had to shut down as a safety precaution. Uh, the commotion leaving people to run away. As I mentioned, at least three dozen police cars, all from uh, different 
uh, different police forces coming here to try to get the situation under control. One woman who lives in the area, she told me off camera that the kids actually ran away from the scene when police got here. And so far, no injuries have been reported and no arrests have been made. This is still a developing story. We're working to learn more. We're working to learn why police uh, left the scene here, maybe to possibly uh, pursue the kids who were involved in this altercation. But as we learn more, we'll keep you updated on air and online. But for now, reporting live from Bayside, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami. Now to our number one trending story on CBSMiami.com. It involves talk of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. On New Year's Day, there was a massive police response in downtown Miami. More than 50 young people armed with sticks began fighting. Police say juveniles were also setting off fireworks, causing chaos. So now, people are posting online saying that police weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather 8 to 10 feet tall shadowy aliens conspiracy theories are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area bayside today the phrases miami mall and aliens of miami have been among the top 10 searches on twitter's trending tab twitter of course now called x and google news even has several reports questioning the event so we reached out to the Miami Police Department. They issued a statement saying in part, quote, there were no aliens, UFOs, or ETs. No airports were closed, no power outages. Uh, face palm emoji was included in the statement. And to read up on the story that has gone viral, just head to our website at acbismiami.com. Read all you want, but remember, no aliens. <laughs> It might be War of the Worlds happening right now on this third rock from the sun. The Messenger reports that on New Year's Day, numerous police officers swiftly responded to a Miami mall as a brawl ensued among a group of teens wielding sticks, launching fireworks, and causing chaos for local businesses. However, some observant social media users say that the substantial police mobilization, which even included officers armed with high-powered rifles, was unrelated to the teenage disturbance. Instead, they assert that the situation involved extraterrestrial phenomena. And, uh, and anyway, so as we run in, we look back and we notice some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and shit, we just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can't say that sh that was not human. It was not human. And they online, I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and, and somebody not shadowy figures. It's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. <laughs> It, it, it's clear there's two groups, the secret keepers over here, the Pentagon, Raytheon, Lockheed, Mike Turner, maybe BlackRock. There's a group over here that do not want the truth to come out. And I, I think they, the reason the secret keepers don't want the truth to come out is because the once you know aliens are real and UFOs are real and the government's been talking to them, the next 10 truths that come out after that are devastating to the image of some people and to it's going to it's going to it's going to come out who's been committing massive financial crime who's been deceiving the congress and also who's been murdering people who murdered jfk who murdered rfk even who murdered marilyn monroe i think this is going to be like a it's going to be the house of cards is going to fall and it's going to be a domino effect of truth that is going to make some people look horrible <laughs>